the periodic table of the elements is our friend. You will be required to memorize the periodic table of the elements. Nobody has to memorize this thing. All you have to do is understand how it works. Okay, how does this thing work? Ah, got it. Let's see. Ah, look, number 98, California. Now here's an interesting You ever wonder how movies work? Well, movies are about illusions. Sort of like the illusion that water is moving as a water wave passes. Except in my day, movies were called books. And here's a good one. For love of Roy. Now what I've done is on the margin of each page, I've drawn a picture. Slightly different from the picture on the page before it. And what's going to happen when I flip through this book, I'm just going to look like a tiny bicycle is riding across the margins of the book. You ready? Just like a movie. Now, let's say that's a wave. We all know it's an eggplant, but just say it's a wave. Now imagine that I'm a wave. Now this wave is carrying energy and I'm carrying energy. I can add my energy to this wave in two different ways. I can add it so that the wave gets bigger, and that's constructive interference. Or I can add my energy in a way that this wave gets smaller, and that's destructive interference. You got it? Of course, this kind of interference makes for much better TV. Well, that's what they do here at the Stanford Linear Accelerator Center in Palo Alto, California. When they're ready, the plants are gathered, washed, and readied for transport to the paddies. <laughs> and this is the heart of the village economy, the market. This isn't a souvenir market, by the way. You can bet that I'm the only one here shopping for souvenirs. Everyone else is shopping for things they need just to get by. To the people in the villages, these markets are the grocery stores and shopping malls. So you say you're trying to figure out if old J.J. Thompson was right about that plum pudding at him. Now, how are you going to do that just by shooting at some piece of foil? This is the Walcott Quarry, high on a mountain in British Columbia. Then there are these, a class of arthropod that's been around since the Cambrian times, but whose members have all been extinct since the Permian. Trilobites, everybody's favorite fossil bug. Scientists estimate that if the trend continues, this glacier will be completely gone in 40 years. Of course, nobody can predict the future with complete accuracy. Like the folks at the National Climatic Data Center said, Doing that takes extremely long-term records, which we don't have. So they fitted him with a GPS collar that they can use to keep track of where he's been, and they're also putting an ear tag on him so they can tell who he is. All the sheep brought in today are healthy, but the numbers are declining. Why? Habitat loss could be a reason, and disease. One ecosystem, two protected animals, one a predator, and one a potential tasty meal. Now, if your job is to protect them both, how in the world do you decide what to do to ensure that both species thrive? Bighorn sheep range over vast areas, areas that are being encroached upon by man. Mountain lions also need space, but the lions are the predators, and their almost mythic status and their legal protection has meant a population boom. How I rectify them is try to understand that both belong there and how do we ensure that these populations, you know, will persist together in a healthy way. If you're looking for simple answers to the questions of wildlife management, or you're looking for easy solutions to the problem of species loss, you're out of luck. This system, like many or maybe even most biological systems, is complex. It's governed by factors that people don't completely understand. It's full of surprises. And since you're talking about wildlife, most of the action takes place out of human sight. Best you can do is learn all you can, 
try to restore balance to systems that have been adversely affected by people and hope for the best. Now mountain lions and bighorn sheep have inhabited the same land. Nah. Now they lifted the bounty on the on the I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. Why? I don't know why she swallowed that fly. What do you think she'll do? Yeah, I guess she'll die. D does this look natural? Mm -hmm. More lion human contact and more predation. What's my next line? Mm -hmm. Now, mountain lions, let me start over with a more clean start. It's been illegal to hunt mountain lions since that's 1972. Gone, that's gone. That's yeah, that's a Granada. Lion <laughs> car along with the population increase, has been an increase in activity for the lions. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain lion, can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> right there. Now sheep certainly eat lions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a possum. That's a possum, kids. So That's a possum. possum. This is not a possum. I'm not a possum. This, this is a possum. See why it's called a possum? Looks like a possum. Get it? Yeah, you didn't expect to learn that today, did you?